Hi Booktube, it's Gina. Happy Wednesday, hope you are doing well. I have had a fun, exciting week this week and I just wanted to sit down and chat with you about it. Say hi, um, do a little introduction because I've got um, quite a few new subscribers, which is so exciting. Um, I had the wonderful A uh, Book Olive very, very kindly give me a shout out on her 10 Booktubers You Should Watch video um, last weekend. And I was just so thrilled and excited about it. It was such a, a just a wonderful surprise. Um, and I wanted to just say hello to everybody that is here from Olive's channel, but also say hello to everybody that has found this channel through some other route, some other pop-up that you saw. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for clicking clicking on this video. And I'm just, I've been having such a fun, fun time getting to know you all, chatting in the comments. So thank you so much for being here. I've got my one year booktube anniversary coming up on the 27th. So that is very exciting. And I was also tagged by Shelly Swearingen to do the booktube numbers tag. And I thought this would be a really fun tag to do to sort of introduce myself to all you new people. And um, there are some questions on here about can you your channel in general. So I thought this would be a fun, a fun chatty video to to do to say hi. I've also got, of course, a pile of books next to me that I will share with you so you can sort of see the type of books that I like and what types of things I'll be talking about on my channel, but my reading taste varies widely. I've got um, some collection books behind me here and a big, big bookshelf of TBR things. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into the tag. The tag was created by Jim at Jim's Books Reading and stuff because you have to do the hand motions. Jim is the king of creating tags. He's created a bazillion tags and they're all wonderful. Um, and so I was super excited to get tagged by Shelly, um, who also got a shout out from A Book Olive and Shelly's got a wonderful channel. If you haven't checked her out, definitely do that. She just recently hit a thousand subscribers and she's very enthusiastic and fun and she reads very widely also. So check Shelly's channel out. Um, okay, so question number one is, what was your first booktube video? And um, I told the story a few times because um, I had been thinking about starting a, a YouTube channel for a little while, but just very casually, like looking at it going, gosh, that looks like so much fun. And I don't, I just couldn't quite pull myself together to figure out how to do it. And so it was sort of in the back of my head and I had been watching Kelly at Books I'm Not Reading and commenting on her videos and she's such a wonderful, uh, supportive commenter, responding to her comments and her videos. And I casually mentioned that I was thinking about starting a channel and Kelly just hopped right on that gave me so much encouragement. She helped me out as I was getting started. She gave me advice on my first video. Um, so I'm forever grateful to Kelly for, for starting me on this path. The first video that I did, that was actually very off topic, um, but I was, so, I was so grateful to Kelly for getting me started. So the first video I did was actually um, a haul, a book haul. It was back at the beginning of 2020 when I was sort of starting to think that the pandemic was easing up. And so I went to a bookstore, a used bookstore in my area. I had not been book shopping in 
ages and I was feeling very excited about it. I found a huge stack of Miss Reed books, which is one of my favorite authors um, here. And I came home and I was like, I don't have anybody to share this with. Like my my spouse was like, oh great, Gina, that's exciting. But he just didn't quite understand my enthusiasm. And so I thought, you know what? This is it. It's a haul. It's easy to talk about. I can show my books. It's a low risk. So I sat down. I propped my camera up on my computer and kind of pulled the dining room table closer to me. And I turned my camera on and just started talking and showing books. And it was so much fun. From the very beginning, I got positive feedback. Um, Kelly was very helpful. I got really great comments on my first video that were very encouraging. So I was just off um, to the races at that point. I, I fell in love with this community, with talking about books, with meeting new friends. It's just been, it's been wonderful. Um, I'll link that video somewhere. <laughs> um, it's, it's a little, it's, it's always a little hard to watch your very first video, some of the earlier ones, but um, it's not that bad. I, I thought it was okay. Um, okay, so pro, uh, question number two is how many books are you currently reading? And I'm currently reading three books. I generally am reading three or four books at a time. I like to have a paper book that I have sitting in the living room that I will read at the end of the day and on weekends. I like to have a Kindle book that I am reading in bed that's more a, a, a cozy book or something that's relaxing and um, can kind of help me wind down at the end of the day. And then I usually have a couple others going at the same time. Um, right now I am reading, um, this one has been sort of dragging on. I'm reading The Odyssey by Homer and I'm still, I'm a little over halfway. I think the last time I talked to you, I've maybe read one of the, the book's chapters. Um, I am going to finish this, though. Um, it's just taken me a while. I'm trying to read one chapter a day. Not always successful, um, but that's sort of where I'm, where I'm, tr where I'm trying to be with that. Um, the second book I'm reading on my Kindle is The Way We Live Now by Anthony Trollope. And that one's probably not a great um, choice for a relaxing read because it's a little bit anxiety provoking to me. It's uh, the, the main characters are mm, sort of scammy and financially trying to live above their station. And it's, I'm just finding it to be quite anxiety provoking, so I'm not reading it as quickly as I normally would. Um, so I need to, I think I need to find another Kindle book that is a little bit uh, more relaxing. So that's, um, I will, I will start another Kindle book probably in the next couple days to accommodate um, that. And then I just started The Binding by Bridget Collins. Um, this book I, um, saw on a bunch of channels best of 2021 videos and so i picked this one up it's a fairly newish release i don't read as many new releases so um so i'm i want to get to this one um and so i started this just just on the very first uh, chapter of this one so it's brand brand new um this one is this is a later question but i'm going to go ahead and jump in here this one is um 435 pages. Um, Homer is 500 and no, there's some notes. So 400 and uh, 483. Um, the Way We Live Now is 776. They're all actually fairly long uh, books. Um, okay. Question number three, what were the top three books you read last year? I've talked about all three of these books repeatedly, but I'll show you them quickly. Um, Beloved by Toni Morrison. This is a buddy read with Kelly, and I loved this book. It was, oh, it was, oh, it was, 
difficult and beautiful and heart-wrenching and gruesome. It was, it was just a, a glorious, difficult read, but wonderful. Um, I also, for very different reasons, loved A Place to Hang the Moon by Kate Albus. This is a middle grade book about three orphans during the Blitz in London who get um, moved, there's a word for it, I'm blanking on it now, um, out to the country um, for the war. This is wonderful for middle grade. If I hadn't read it, I would, I would be reading it for middle grade March. Um, coming up soon. And then um, Piranesi by Susanna Clark, a fantasy novel that I absolutely fell in love with. I read it in one sitting, I tore through it, and I want to reread. Um, and these were all just wonderful, wonderful reads. Um, question number four, how many books did you read last year? And last year I read 85 books which is a little bit more, I think, than I normally do. I mean, I I vary between kind of 50 and 85 is, I think 85 might be the most. I'm not sure. I didn't look. Um, how many books, prompt number five, is how many books have you rated as five star this year? And there's only one. It is Near Neighbors by Molly Clavering, um, which is a um, sort of a mid-century modern furrowed middle brow um, re-release of um, Molly Clavering, who was writing back in the early to mid 20th century. And I love that genre style of book. And this book did not disappoint. I absolutely loved it. Um, and that was Near Neighbors. Um, prompt number six. Do you have a reading target for this year? And I do not. I set my Goodreads um, goal as one book because I do like to track my books in Goodreads. It's, I find it very convenient to just keep a running list there. Um, but I have decided not to set a reading goal. And I actually did a video on this called The Best Goal Is No Goal on sort of ratcheting ourselves back in the constant effort to be productive and to read more and to go faster. Um, and I'll, I'll link that, that video too. Um, I really enjoyed making that one. Um, so I am not on track. I have no goal um, for reading this year, but I, I imagine I will probably read somewhere between 50 and 80, like I always do. Um, Oh, how many, prompt number seven is how many pages long is the book you are reading now? And I already listed um, that out for the three that I'm reading. Um, prompt number eight is how long are your videos? And I generally am in the 10 to 13 minute range, which is actually funny because I'm looking at my clock and I'm at just hit 13 minutes that very moment. Um, that is, tends to be my comfort zone. Um, much longer than that I feel is too long and I have done shorter ones and I don't mind doing shorter ones but 13 to 15 minutes is probably my my upper level um, do you have a favorite number is the next question my favorite number is nine my birth date is 918 so go figure and the last question is do you have a book on your shelves with a number um, in the title or on the cover. And I ran through my shelves and I actually grabbed a few. So I'm gonna go over these kind of quickly just because um, there's a bunch, but this is a pretty good representation of what my library looks like, which I thought was actually pretty interesting. Um, so this is uh, Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. I've not read this, but it's a beautiful reprint of the originals. This is on my want to read shelf. Um, I have Towards Zero by Agatha Christie, uh, who, of course, needs no explanation. I love Agatha Christie, so that is a, a pretty common um, genre, those Golden Age mysteries. Um, I also have Butterfield 8 by John O'Hara. This is another one I have not read, um, but I do want to read it. Um... I've got Threats at Three by Anne Purser. This is a cozy English mystery. Love. I've 
also got One Pair of Hands by Monica Dickens, um, who is also one of the mid-century ladies who I love so much. I've got... 100 Years of Solitude by Gabrielle Garcia Marquez. I have not read this book. I have, I talked about this on my last video. I've, I've tried to start this. I've gotten this far. I've tried to start it many times and I might just have to give up because I just cannot quite seem to get into it. And then lastly, I've got 4321 by Paul Oster. Um, literary fiction. I have not read this one yet. Um, so I, I think this is a pretty good spattering of the types of books that I like to read. I've got classics, literary fiction, cozy mysteries, um, mid-century ladies, and Agatha Christie, who's really a genre all her own. Um, so that is the booktube numbers tag. Thank you again so much for clicking on this video, for watching. Um, hope you're doing well, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.